Hey guys, Weston here with Trouble Painting. So today we've got an interesting project. We've got previously stained wood that the homeowner wants to turn into actually painted wood. Uh, so there's a few steps that we have to do to ensure the proper adhesion for the paint. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is go through and take off any hardware that's on the, uh, on the trim, i.e. this uh, window here. So we went ahead and did that step. So the next step is we're going to be uh, scuff sanding it and essentially it's just going to be a light sand just to get some of that polyurethane that's on top of the stained wood uh, off to allow for proper adhesion of the, uh, the primer coat that we'll be doing after. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get it scuff sanded and then we'll clean it up a little bit with some uh, cred cutter degloss that will also help ensure proper bondage of the primer. Um, once we've got it cleaned off we'll go ahead and uh, get it primed. Uh, so we're just going to do one coat of primer. And then after that, we'll be in, a, in the clear to go ahead and get it painted two coats. Um, so let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and start sanding. All right, guys, so we're going to get into the sanding. And I want to just go over the, uh, some of the tools that I'm going to be using, mostly the uh, sandpaper. So this is actually 120 uh, grit sandpaper. Um, it's more of a mid-grade sandpaper. It's not too rough, but not too light. Um, and it's just perfect for sanding trim. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the actual sanding process and what you're looking for um, and when you know that you're done with it. So essentially, I'm just gonna sand the wood. As you see here, I'm just doing a couple of swipes back and forth, really getting into all of the corners here. Um, you just wanna make sure that you sand the entire surface of the, of the wood. Uh, and you're not gonna see much of a difference here. So as you can see, you're not seeing a huge change. Um, mostly what you're looking for is like this milky kind of looking dust that's gonna settle on it. Um, that's when you know that you're burning through that top coat on the trim. Um, now what you don't wanna do is burn too far into it. So we're not trying to damage the wood here. Um, we're just looking to burn off that top coat, that clear coat that is used whenever staining trim. Um, so essentially you just wanna burn through that. You don't wanna gouge out the wood or anything like that because uh, any gouges will show through the paint. So just give it a light sand. Just make sure you see some of this white fine dust. You can kind of see it on my fingers here. Um, and then you're ready to go ahead and hop into the primer. All right guys, so now that our sanding is done, the next step is to use our crud cutter degloss or gloss off if you will. Um, and basically what that's gonna do is you, you pour it on a rag and you wanna soak the rag pretty well, get it well saturated, and then just wipe down all the trim that you're gonna be painting. Um, so the gloss off, the reason we use this is actually it helps to burn through the top coat, the polyurethane uh, that's on the stained trim currently. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wipe it down and we're going to let it sit for a little while. Uh, that's going to help, like I said, burn through that top coat to allow for better and proper adhesion of the paint slash primer. Um, so essentially what it's going to look like is I'm going to wipe it down with the uh, Craig Cutter gloss off and I'll go back through with a wet rag just to clean off any extra uh, Craig Cutter that's still on there. Um, and then I'll go through with the dry rag and just dry everything off and then we'll be able to jump right into primer. Let's get to it. All right guys, so we've done the sanding, we've done the crud cutter cleaning. Uh, now we're down to priming. So right here, sorry, I had it the wrong way. Uh, so we're gonna be using Ben primer right here. Uh, this stuff is going to be perfect for what we're trying to do. Um, essentially, it's going to create a bonding uh, layer for the paint. Not only that, it's going to stop something called tannin bleed. And if you're not familiar with that, stained wood has a, this weird thing where it actually leaks a yellowish color through any kind of paint. So if we didn't prime this before we went and painted, the white paint would suddenly become like a yellowish tannish color. Just 
not very good looking. Um, so this primer is gonna stop that from happening and it's gonna create a base layer to allow our paint that we're putting on there to adhere, uh, to dry properly, properly and uh, it'll save kind of the coloration of that paint. So we'll go ahead and get into it and show you what it's like. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna get into the priming portion of this. Uh, just a few things to think about while I get this set up. Um, you're not really looking to do anything super heavy with it, so you're not trying to put it on too thick. Uh, you just wanna put an easy, nice coat on. Uh, make sure you get everything covered over, every little portion. Uh, and then when you go to use your brush to cut things out, just make sure that you're only hitting the stuff that you're intending to paint. Uh, if you hit anything else with the primer, it's very easy to clean up, just a, uh, warm water and a rag. And just wipe it off as soon as you can get to it. And we'll get right into it. You want to make sure that you just have a, like I said earlier, just a real smooth, smooth coat going on. You don't want any heavy areas. Um, if you put it, put the primer on too heavy, it could cause it to sag a little bit, which means that it's so heavy that it's going to start draining down and you'll get this really big drip and it's just, it's not fun. Then you got to sand it down. So, um, just a light coat. All right guys, so we got the primer finished here. Uh, that's just gonna allow for that bonding coat for the paint. Uh, just to get into the paint a little bit, we are gonna be using Benjamin Moore's Advanced Satin on it. Uh, this is a great product. It's a hybrid product. Um, and essentially it's just gonna lay down on the trim and it's gonna lay down super flat. Uh, smooth, I should say, not, not flat, flat as a sheen. <laughs> But it's gonna lay down extremely smooth. Uh, the first coat we put on there is not gonna look perfect. Um, that's just gonna be that, that first coat to allow for the second coat to properly give coverage throughout the rest of the trim. Um, so without further ado, we're gonna hop right into it. I'll show you a few techniques. I've got a few tools I'm gonna be using here. So I've got my brush and I've got my little four inch roller here along with my bucket that's holding my paint. So let's hop into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and use my brush to get around any obstacles where I can't use my four inch roller. So essentially what that's gonna look like is I'm just gonna be putting the paint down in certain areas and then I'm gonna be smoothing it out. All right guys, so one thing to uh, take into account when painting with Advanced is that it is a very thin type of paint. And as you can see, even the primer coat's still showing through it. That is totally okay. The second coat's gonna get that covered over. So we just want to make sure that we're doing even brush strokes. You don't want to have too many uh, lines from your bristles in the paint. Um, just getting it smooth. All right, and once we've got the areas cut out with our brush that we need to get cut out so that we can come through with the four inch roller, we are gonna come through with the four inch roller. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and crank this window open. Make things just a little bit easier for me. I'm gonna use this four inch roller, like I said, get on a nice even coat. Uh, whenever you're painting with advanced, you wanna make sure, see, as you can see, it gets really heavy and especially in corners right here, it gets extremely heavy. So what you wanna do is take your brush and just even it out. Because those will actually pull up on you and then start dripping all over the place. And if you get too much paint in one spot, that's okay. 
Just keep on moving with the rest of it. Come back through after the fact and just smooth it out. Make sure you're getting in all the corners, hitting every component. You don't want to leave anything unpainted. You can see I got it a little heavy there, so what I'm trying to do right now is just spread it out a little bit. Share the love. All right guys, so we got the first coat on here. It's already dry. If you'll come and take a closer look. Uh, so previously I told you that the first coat's not gonna be perfect. As you can see, there's still a little bit shining through. That is exactly why we do a second coat. When we put the second coat on, all of that will disappear and it's gonna look like really nicely painted trim. Uh, before we get into the second coat, uh, if y'all guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the like button, maybe subscribe, check us out on Instagram, Facebook. You can check our uh, homepage out, uh, www.triplepainting.com. I appreciate the love and support, y'all. Let's get into it.